Okay, so I already started on this, but pretty much all I did was take this fabric, which is like a crinkly thing with little, little sparkles on it, and I glued it to a bra. And just have it pin there, and it's gonna be the top lip. Um, here's the bottom. Zoom out a little. Here's my sketch of it. I have the lips. It's gonna be that fabric. Um, I'm gonna have like all my teeth falling out, like in my dreams. I want to have the bottom lip just sit there. Um, and blood's gonna be dripping out of it. And I want the tongue to be attached to my, uh, hips in a way where I can, like, when I walk, it goes, uh, 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 uh. So that's that. I want to have eyeballs on my shoulder. Good old shoulder pieces. And, um, the bottom of my chin. I want it to be nostrils. Um, and everything is just going to be leaking. Um, eyeballs drip dropping deers. Um, my neck nose just drip dropping slump. And then my wig is going to be large eyebrows. I don't know if I want to do a unibrow or if I want to do my blonde hair over the brow. So that it kind of like breaks it up. And so I don't have a unibrow, but I think a unibrow goes well with this look because it's a little, it's a little crazy. But yeah, that's my outfit and I'm excited for it. She about to be in the pupil of your eyeball. Is that the way out? I don't know. It's time to make some paper mache just stole all these newspapers. But I'm trying, oh, well this doesn't work, but I'm sketching out the black part of your eye. You know, in the middle. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. 
Where is the other? Mm. Oh, God. Oh, it's getting bigger and bigger. Baby boy, you have all my mind. No. What's that? Well, it's gonna have a low of 65. I think it's a low. Well, I mean, where I'm going. I mean... Reminds me of this area of Dallas called North. So I'm trying to match my eyes, and it's kind of like this, but more green. And I'm a mix of all it, so it sparkles. No personality. One minute. Me and my dad sitting here. Almost two years. 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 Almost like when that girl makes out. It's kind of thing, like the middle though. So who's that other person that's moving out? I think his name's Charles. His, uh, name's, his name's Charles, I think. You just got tired of it or what? I don't know. Who's he handling? I don't know. I mean, like, made it really cute. It wasn't like awful. I mean, actually, it was. Like, what part of you is there? I mean, it's, 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 it's not Wednesday. Where's that? You know where? Near 6th Street and West Street. Okay. Have you been there? Me? No. That sounds familiar, but I don't know. Yeah. Is there going to be room for the other judges? And also, they can just go be like jammed in the corner and I'll just be like. And then just light it up. It was terrible. Well, I will definitely come to you next time. Okay. It's just it's in buckets. I mean, I get it. Whatever. Okay. No, I'm just gonna take this time after. Well, you can also just come over and hang out and cook here. Next time we watch a movie. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Come over and like hang out. Well, like I, will yeah, I'll cook her something. I cook all the time. I do too. We can just hang out. Perfect. Yeah. Come over. Yeah, it's I don't know, but kind of scares me. I do. Like, it's just like a private little party in my place. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did you see what he got me? It's in that little vase right there. The carrot. I put the I put the um feathers on it. Who got it for you? Phoenix. Oh. Isn't the feather? Don't the feathers make it look amazing? Mm hmm. Jessica Rabbit, here I come. You gonna sit on it? Yeah. I don't know, that's a lot to sit on. I, think you, I believe in you. No. I'm not like, I'm not like that much of a power bottom anymore. Oh, who did I move in with? So for the guts, I had these old nasty they were just a mess, kind of braid, dreaded, matted hair. And so I ripped them out of that and they're getting on the back of that. Also have these braids, so I'm just gonna undo them, cover them in latex and red paint and see if they look like guts. I feel like it will, but there's only one way to find out. And I feel like if I put latex on it, it's gonna be a lot more easier to decorate and stuff. Glue things too. So, let's see.
for some sparkle. Oh, it's probably too much. Let's get some of that out. No, it was too much. Oh, that's so ugly. Mm. Let's see if I have a cheaper bread. There we go, a cheaper bread. The other ones are acrylic. This is just poster. And it's empty. Okay, well, never mind. Oh, let me add the other red in. This is a brighter red. Scarlet as opposed to crimson. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now we're talking. Waste a bunch. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want it to shine more. I'm gonna see if I have any glitter. Okay, so I got some food coloring. I wanted to see if this could make it a little bit more pigmented. Because so I really don't want to have to paint over it, you know, as much. going in there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, this is going to be messy, so I got That looks really gross. I think it could use a little bit more latex though. Yep. That's good. Okay, now I just gotta let that dry. Good. 
thing about this is it's gonna be, and I want them to dry straight so they like stick out of the, stick out of the head. Don't get stuck together, bitches. Okay, that's fucking nasty. Give him a little natural curl at the end. So it's kind of cute, like a hair. Do some twists and turns so it's naturally a little, a little off. I guess it's unnaturally if I'm doing it to it. Never mind. Okay, well, I finished them, and they look like that. Rose, what? Shin. Please, be your little friend and mine. I should have, should have walked. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Just some veins all over them. I love it so much. Okay, so I'm making tears um, for the eyeball. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut this fabric with my skirt for like a little sexy number. But yeah, I'm gonna cut it into drips. Just did a little sketch. And it's gonna look something like this. Changing the, the placement from this to up here because it's hotter up there. <laughs> now it's a penis. Mm -mm -mm. But I just cut it up all the way to the top. So it kind of looks like drops. I'm gonna fill it up with some stuffing or something. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Stop in the stop in down in the drip drop. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying on this. the lips when I sit down oh. or I can bite my lip okay so I usually use jeans for my um my foundations of my costume and this one I'm trying to have go down into my butt so I have to cut it up a little bit and then I'm going to glue some stuff to it.
This isn't the color of my costume. I need to be very careful of these strings.
Mm-mm. Okay. Well, that's what I did. I'm going to finish gluing it on my body because this mannequin isn't perfect. Bye. So, I'm taking the bra apart. I'm going to put it, attach these down to the jeans and then remove the strap because I want to be backless. I just want to show up all my back. So it's like 6 o'clock in the morning and all my roommates are asleep, but I'm still working. I'm sketching my teeth, I'm looking in the mirror and just drawing them the size they are compared to that mouth so that they're the same teeth that I have because I think they'll be cool. But yeah, I'm just drawing out, cutting it out. I'm going to have two layers of this size and then a layer probably of the root. And they are fine. Keanu Reeves is, has been my forever. Like, I've had crushes, celebrity crushes mm. come and go, like Johnny Depp. He's I don't really like who he's. Okay, so the latex stuck to the cardboard. So don't do that. <laughs> but it's sexy. I did those already. Now I'm doing these. I'm just kind of like bending the outside of it, giving it kind of a toothy shape. And just banging it. Because if you give things flaws, they look more natural. No, I'm just banging my teeth on the table. Do it for real. Huh? Give me a show. No, not my real teeth. I paid a lot. I paid a lot of money for one of these. Uh huh. Yeah, I love it so much. Phoenix here. 
And then I'm just putting it under a bowl so it doesn't come apart because it did the first time. It's a little messy. I was using a razor blade at first, but it was dull. So I got my amazing made in Taiwan shears. I put the head back on my mannequin and it looks like something out of a horror movie. I think she needs to be decorated. Okay, so I just put my head back on my mannequin. Uh, it's the same size as my head. I just, I put a bag over my head and I covered myself in duct tape and it was this size. So what I did was I wound around my head with duct tape like a headband um and then i'm just lying it on top and that's what i'm doing um usually i do it on my own head with like a croaker bag on top but i don't really want to use my head because i have this so that's that Boop. So I'm probably gonna have to cut part of this off because I have hair and this thing doesn't have hair, but I'm just getting the base down. And then I'll cut hair a hole for my ponytail later. Just completely cover it. And if you're doing this on your head with a with a um, grocery bag, you can put the sticky side on the grocery bag. And it's a lot easier to do that. Nope, nope, wrong way. Sticky side up. Heavy duty duct tape is the best thing to use for this. Cheap duct tape is cool, but usually you have to use like three, you have to layer it three times, so it's not really worth it. Okay. Now I'm just gonna cover it, stick the side down. I made a step stool. like this. I'm just going to fold this over and hope it fits. Usually when I do it off of my head, it doesn't fit, but I'll show you how I fix it if that's the case. Thank you. 
Mm. Oh, it does. Um, it doesn't hold onto my head well enough because of that. Also, I need to cut a hole for my ponytail. Let's just try that. My hair is so silky and luscious, it's hard to control. Boink. Okay, let's see if this... So that's good, but this needs to come down around here so that it's secure. I also think I'm going to add some pins in it so it doesn't fall because there's going to be a lot of stuff attached to this. Whenever you do these mannequins in duct tape, they get sticky for a little while. Now this time, I'm just gonna go down and I'm just gonna cut my ear out because I don't have time for what I did last time. It's still not tight enough, so I'm just gonna hold it. So, this up. I'm just gonna hold it. Hold it tight and tape it tighter. See, I kind of like folded it over a little bit on its own. So that's something. Now it's too fucking tight. Okay, well, I'm gonna figure out how to do this and not for myself. Okay, I'm just gonna glue these today. I'm probably gonna sew these on so they don't fall off because that would be embarrassing. But for now, hot glue would be. Since it's painted, I'm just gonna rough it up with a little bit of
So I'm gonna take markers and mark where I'm gonna glue things together. Like I should have the first time. Also, this cap I made fucking sucks. I'm gonna make little holes in it for bobby pins so I can pin it to my head because it's heavy. It's not really heavy, it's, um, I don't know, simple machines, levees and pullers, that kind of shit. <gasps> I just stabbed myself. Okay, I hate sewing, so I'm gonna try to use metal. I guess, I guess I'm popping the balloon, so. Gotta be good. Now this might pop it, so everything might just be ruined. Oh no. She's deflating. Oh well. Hmm. What is that thing? I always put hot glue on the end of metal because it's pokey. And the glue makes it not. So I kept popping the balloon inside, so I decided to start just taping it up all crazy. And I'm just gonna cover up the mess. Who's that? Oh, oops. So this is pissing me off. How do I do this? But I'm just duct taping it. Like, look at that. It's kind of cute, but the eyes aren't even, and I'm not gonna be cross out. I'm gonna let it dry because I sprayed some spray adhesive to keep the tape on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hmm. Ah. Uh -uh. 
Uh, making the roots for my teeth. Just cutting out a square and gluing it in to the hole right here. Uh, uh, clipped. Maybe a little like broken at the end. Because mm -hmm. I want it to look. Like got torn out. You should look at my crotch. Is that thick enough? Okay, so I'm just like the harsh edges of the cardboard don't like it, don't quite care what, so I'm just gooping over them and then kind of going out like this, so it's like kind of gross because I'm gonna paint over it with blood, so. A nasty texture is key. Mm, this one's kind of fucking up. But yeah, fill in all the cardboard holes with this. It's gonna be real nasty. I'm gonna love it. Okay. And now I have two. Oh, this one needs my wiggles. <laughs> and these will be falling out and just dangling. Wonk, 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 wonk. If I don't, oh, that'd be fun if they bounce. I actually made them match my tooth. Which one's which? <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna make all the rest of them. I was gonna have one be a grill, but I'm thinking maybe just a little, you know, a little tooth jam. Isn't that cute? It's already white, so why not? I guess like I'll just cut this out and embed it like a real classy bitch.
Now that is classy. Now to add the blood. Oh no, first it's gonna be white. I'm gonna put a little jewel on this too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just I cut it out and inserted it. If you find those eyelashes. Oh god, that would be amazing if I find them. Mm hmm Like which boxes again? I mean like literally it's not a thousand 
to the shady mafia style shakedown of the Ukraine, but luckily Trump's lawyer was able to smooth it over with professionalism and class. Okay, um, so I'm just kind of fixing up the bra right now so that it's the right shape. I think I pretty much got it. I just took hot glue and pinned this underneath here. So it's just hot glued onto the bra and on top of the bra and then stuff. It's pretty it's easy, pretty simple. Just think of like, you just think about things like this is my skin and then there's the fat in the lip. It's pretty easy if you just think about it like that. But now I have to do the bottom lip and I have to pull this down so it's cut like that. Cause it keeps coming up like that. It needs to be like that. So I'm taking this fabric and cutting off all these little hanging things, putting a little drip of hot glue on them so they don't fuck up. And then I'm attaching the teeth to it with them and having a few left over. So it's like this. And when you walk, it like tangles all up. And then when you stop, it spins back. See? I think it's sexy. Okay, so I'm taking these these old plain white shoes and I'm tattooing eyeballs on them. Um, and then I'm just gluing this fabric that I was using earlier onto them. Put a little fringe on the end. Because they go together now. I love it. But yeah, I'm about to start drawing on these. Let's hope they match. Bitch, these eyeball shoes are so cute. I'm gonna look up some skirts, baby. Boop, boop. So I'm going with white hair. I got these tracks and I have this wig that's cut up. I have... The front of it is um, right here. And it's like a lace front. So I usually chop off the back of a wig and then put it all around the headdress. So all I really have to do is put on the headdress and then put on the lace front and clip that on. So that's what I'm doing. This wig is kind of, I don't know, the short hair is cute, but then the long hair is disgusting. So I'm chopping that off. Then I'm gonna use these tracks to fill in the gaps. Just this curly hair up here where this frontal thing will cover it. And then the tracks down here. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Quack. It's not crooked. It's just on the mannequin crooked. I need to fix that. What you know about that hot glue quick weave? What you know about that hot glue quick weave? I'm gonna be a big fucking nose. I'm gonna be a slutty Elmo. Achoo. Video in Edna. <laughs> now remember, everyone, their scores were within points of each other. All of the contestants will receive their scorecards at the end of the night so they will understand where they placed with the judges. We also wanna thank all of you for coming out and supporting Miss Edgewine. Well, that was my look. Here it is on the stage. I'm performing Cause I Love You by Lizzo. Um, she's just talking about crying and stuff. I had so much fun making this. When I kind of feel out of control of my life, I have dreams where my body falls apart, my eyeballs fall out, uh, my teeth fall out, all that kind of stuff. And most of the times, it's involving when I like somebody that doesn't like me back or something like that. Just kind of relationship that I can't control. So it was really fun to get all that out and make this look. And also to judge all these competitors in Miss Sketchwood. Oh, such a good night. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed my little DIY series. If you have any suggestions or have anything that you want to see me make, let me know. Um, I just, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I just want to start recording what I make and share my process with y'all because I think it's going to help people be better artists themselves and all that, you know? Oh, my God. I love this look so much. It's so gross looking. Look at that. Just slut. Slutty slut, slut, slut. Slut, slut, slut. Or other things you want to see me make, let me know in the comments. Bye.